Hello everybody, my name is Bojangles and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. If you remember from last episode... Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a Baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Sorry, um, I didn't want to interrupt that little cutscene, but if you remember from last episode, we just fell down with the elevator. And apparently, it looks like we are heading into the dungeon. <sighs> Come on. It's a, it's a pull, isn't it? Get out of here. Ooh, it is dark. Right, um, full oil. I should be fine. Which way I need to be going? I got me a hammer. Oh, I feel like there's gonna be a monster down here. I can feel it in my bones. What was that? I know I saw someone back there. I don't know if I should keep going or... Oh, it's locked. Oh. No! Why? God, I knew there was a monster down here. I need I can't wait here but I need to because I need to get my sanity up because running around in this happening this is not okay hopefully he's not up here Oh, I'm still hiding here next time he comes.
go. Find Gabriel, the Outrider, and tell him to alert the King's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. <laughs> Something is coming. Hurry, I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Still won't be vision. Not good. Oh, there's oil. I can't, I know I can't move. Can I grab it? Go for it. I don't care if I miss anything. Oh. Oh. for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Do I still, uh, okay, my vision's slightly better. game is just giving me the break it nope still got it the morning sun flickered between the pine trees as the carriage approached the castle and I didn't get all of that red Crouching? Um, I'm gonna go right, I guess. I can't go left. Uh... Storage. Seems like a good place to start. Who is talking? Hmm. Kitchen. Storage. Thirty-nine. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. 
It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. I guess Daniel's been doing a bit of murdering. Oh, no. So ready to die. I hear that. Excellent condition, eh? Oh. I can run past him, but then again, I'm not sure. I don't trust myself that well. I can hear him walking. I don't know if he's coming this way. Come on, just pop around the corner so I know you're there. I can hear you coming.
Stop! Don't come any closer. I just want to leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. I'm so gonna die. 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 I'm dead. This is where I die. I'm so dead. Paul's ass, holy crap. Speed racer. You gotta be careful. Oh, which way did I come from? I don't remember. Did I come from this way? No, no I didn't. I came from that. I go this way. Ooh, I'm not liking this. Oh, I don't care where he is, as long as he's not near me. Ah! Worst thing that could have happened. Won't budge. I am gonna get cornered into a dead end. Is that's what's gonna happen? I'm gonna start using my dinner boxes more. Then again, I don't want to. Hello. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Are those servants those things that are chasing me? Because if it is, those aren't servants, those are monsters. How does acid? Oh, I didn't even hear him breaking down the door. Oh.
I probably should be following him, but he's blocking my only way out. Dude, where did he go? This box is my protector. I think I'm going in the right direction. I'm not really remembering which way I need to go. I went the wrong way. I should have went left instead of right. I need to hurry. I need to end, the, end this episode. Ha 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 Fuck you, fuck you, you can't get me. What's he doing? Oh, what are you gonna do? You can't get me! Ha 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 ha! Oh, yes he can! Oh! This seems like a perfect place to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video.